And this is the Red Tiger USB-C hardwire kit. And the kit is gonna work with vehicles that use 12 volts or 24 volt systems. Also, let's look at low voltage protection. That means that this kit will turn off when the battery gets low enough to prevent it from being fully discharged. And if it was installed on a vehicle with a 12 volt system, the cutoff is gonna happen at 11.8 volts. If it was installed in a 24 volt system, the cutoff is gonna happen at 23.7 volts. Now let's move over to the wires that are gonna go to the fuse box of the vehicle. And there are three of them. Each one has a different color and each one has a different function. And all three of them have to be connected in order for the dash cam to work correctly. And the first wire is yellow and has been labeled B+. This wire needs to have power all the time, even when the vehicle is off. Next up is this red wire, which has been labeled ACC. This wire needs to have power only when the vehicle's key is in the accessory position or when the vehicle key is on the on position. And lastly, we have this black wire, which has been labeled ground. And ground is normally a metallic surface on the body of the vehicle. Normally, I find a bolt that I can loosen up, slide this underneath, retighten the bolt again, giving me ground. So to recap, B plus needs to have power all the time. ACC needs to have power only when the car's key is on the accessory position or when the car is on. And this guy right here, ground, needs to go to a metallic portion of the vehicle, which we know as ground. Now you may be wondering, well, how do I actually connect these wires to the vehicle? We know this one is gonna go to the vehicle's body, but these two right here, how do I get them to go into the fuse box? Because notice the terminal, that doesn't go into here, and there is a solution for that. Let me show you what that is. And this is the solution. It is called a fuse step. Now notice that the fuse tab does have a receiving end on here, so I can take that fuse tab and I can connect it to the end of the wire, effectively now having an end that can be connected to the fuse box. I'm gonna go ahead and position that in here and now I can make the connection. Now the kit includes two baggies of fuse tabs and the reason why it includes two baggies of fuse tabs is because we know there are two ends that are gonna need it, the red one and the yellow one. Also notice that they included different fuse tab sizes and that is because a vehicle could potentially use a specific fuse size. So it is important to use the correct fuse size to make sure it fits the vehicle correctly. Now let's talk about the vehicle's fuse box. Sometimes there's gonna be empty spaces available that I could potentially use. Sometimes those places could potentially have ACC or could have B+, depending on which power type I'm looking for. And now I can insert the fuse tab into that empty fuse location to make the connection. However, it is possible that all the fuse spots may be taken and now I don't have any place to insert my fuse tab on. And here's where fuse tabs have a very interesting feature and that is this space right here. And what that space does, it allows me to remove the fuse from the vehicle, insert it into that space so it looks like this, and now I can place the fuse tab into the fuse box of my vehicle. So this is what I consider a complete hardwire kit because they have included a set of fuse tabs for the ACC wire and a set of fuse tabs for the B plus wire, again in different sizes so I can pick the one that fits my vehicle fuel size. Thank you guys for watching and as always I'll see you on the next one.